up guys thank you so much for joining me back here on my channel on today's video i'm going to show you where and how to start an e-commerce store for absolutely free on this store you'll be selling t-shirts you'll be selling mugs uh, phone accessories and stuff like that and first of all you don't even need to know how to design all of this stuff because I'm going to show you some more websites where you can find free designs and images uh, and text for you to use on your t-shirts for absolutely free but before we begin with that i just want to say a warm welcome to all of you guys who are joining me here on the channel for the very first time my name is queen magomani and this is a channel where i share on different growth strategies for online business personal branding i share on content so if you are into personal growth and personal development you are definitely in the right place and you are watching the right video so if you haven't subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you get notified every time i drop a video here on the channel also like comment and share this content with everyone else let's get on to today's video so the website that you need to go to is this one here teespring yes that is the website that you're going to do all your designs um and you that's where you're going to register your online store for absolutely free so now join me on my pc as i show you step by step uh, on how to go about it to get started with this process, you will need to first sign up and it's really easy. All you need to do is to fill up your email address and to create a password for your account on teespring.com. As soon as you are done, you will get an email confirmation onto the email which you've used to register for your Teespring shop. So go onto your email and check if you've received the email and you can start designing. To begin designing, you need to click on create and sell. And once you've done that, you will be redirected to a page which has got all the products which you can place your design on. And for all of those products, there are different categories. They categorize them into three categories. The first one, which is the home category. And this is where you find different home accessories. The second category is the accessories category. And this is where you will find cell phone uh, covers and you'll find shopping bags and different stickers and so on. All of this is are the items which you can use and you can place your design on. So the third one is the apparel uh, category. It is the clothing category, which is what we're going to be focusing on for the purpose of this video. But as you can see there, there are different loads which you can place your design on. So um, we're going to go ahead and select the women's t-shirt, which is what we're going to be designing on. So you will see once I've clicked the women's t-shirt here, uh, there are different other t-shirts within the women's t-shirt category, which pop up and they already have all the colors and they have designs and they did this just to show you what's really possible. I'm going to place my design on the comfort tee and once i click on it you'll notice that i'm redirected to this page where i'm given two options the first one is to buy and the second one is to sell so i would be buying if i was designing let's say for maybe an office team and maybe a soccer team and um i just wanted to have a uniform design but now because i want to create an online store i'm going to select the option to sell because all of the designs that i'll be designing i want to eventually sell them online because i've clicked on sell i'm redirected to this page where i get a plain white t-shirt so this is where i am going to start my design process now let's create the design for our t-shirt to do that we're going to head over to canva because this is where we're going to find all the free uh, designs for our t-shirts we're going to find even the fonts and images for our t-shirt and best of all they are all customizable so now you can see i'm already logged on to my canva account 
and it says there on the picture design anything that is the thing i like about canva it's the fact that you can design absolutely anything with this website i design all my youtube thumbnails using this website but let me take you also on a little tour just to show you the different stuff that you can design with canva as you can see there, it shows me all my designs, which I've already uh, done here on this platform. And then the next line will be all the stuff that's brand new. It's all the stuff that keeps coming as people uh, keep uploading onto Canva. I did another video where I included Canva as a way of making money. I'll try to link on it on my description uh, down below. Do check it out. But also if you scroll down, uh, uh, it shows you that you can design your Instagram posts, your Facebook posts, all your social media posts can be done here on Canva. Plus, you can do th stuff like logos, you can do presentations, and there are little videos which you can also do here on Canva. So, um, let's start with our design. I'm going to head over to the search at the top um, where there's a big green thumbnail there, and I'm going to search t-shirt and what's going to happen is all the t-shirt designs that are within Canva are going to pop out. So as you can see, there they are. All of these designs with their images and fonts are all customizable, which means that you can change the different fonts. You can change the different font color and the different backgrounds and into what you want. So you can literally pick any of these designs and tweak it around just to make it your own. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to select a design which I feel um, resonates with me maybe i see if you see an element or two that you like with a design um that is a good way to start with your design more especially if you are not a designer like me uh this site simplifies your life so i'm going to select this art is life design because i think i love the way the words are arranged there and i'm going to customize it to actually fit the kind of design that i want for my teespring t-shirt i'm going to change my words and make them my own but keep the design style so i'm uh, to change the wording there i'm going to click on it and that activates it and put the cursor for me to erase and uh, write whatever i like on that so i'm going to say uh own your life so my t-shirt design is going to be own your life so um that's how you do it and if once you've typed your font you can even adjust it back into place and position it however you want or wherever you want within the design so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to change the wording and also i'm going to change the picture so i'm going to show you a website that has got beautiful beautiful pictures which are royalty free which you can use uh, for commercial use on all your designs and um there are many different ones but today i'm going to show you one which is called pixabay You'll find Pixabay on www.pixabay.com. It is a website that has got a lot of images. I mean, over a million royalty-free, penalty-free uh, images that you can use for all your design. Well, my design for today is on your life. So I'm going to search for an image that I can use on my t-shirt um, by typing, um, let's say, life, because I want something related to life anyway and by doing so it will bring up a lot of images which i can pick uh from i can pick a suitable one from so i'm just going to scroll through to see if i see something i like yes i like this eye image and that's what i'm going to use for my design and fortunately for me it is a png with no background so it means that it's been uploaded without any background and that makes my life easy so i'm going to go ahead and download this image onto my pc and so that i can upload it onto canva to replace the current image that is there that looks like a painting 
back on canva i'm going to upload uh, my image which i've saved onto my pc by clicking on the left there where it says upload and i'm going to uh, navigate to where i've saved the e saved the image on my pc and add it to canva and then once it's done uploading i am going to drag it and add it onto my image to onto the image to uh replace the current image that looks like a painting over there and you do that by simply dragging and dropping and i'm going to delete the older image which i'm trying to get rid of and once it's deleted i'm going to go ahead and adjust my eye or my own your life picture so well just like that my design is done on canva i use canva to design and i used pixabay to find a suitable image so i'm going to export it as a png because it is a bigger size image and what that means is that it preserves the quality uh, compared to all the other sizes now let's head back to uh, teespring so i can show you how to upload and add this image to my t-shirt so what you do is uh you go ahead and go on to add image um and navigate to where you've saved your image on your pc and you'll notice that once you say open it sits perfectly onto your t-shirt so now the red borderline that you see around my design is the print area of your 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 t-shirt anything outside of that space won't be printed on so you need to be careful when you are adjusting your design so that it fits in that print area border that is there now that you've done uh you are done with your design you need to set a price for it so here they have a suggested price uh which is standard for these types of t-shirts and they also tell you here that typically uh designers charge that rate so once you're done setting your price you're gonna have to click on continue to go on to the next page on the next page is where you're going to select like a range uh, for your design. So if you want to keep your design on the t-shirt only, um, you can just go ahead and click the t-shirt and click continue. But also they show you other options like you can see there, you can place your design on a hoodie, you can place it on um, other clothing items like socks, uh, uh, gym uh, pants and a whole lot of different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue to go on to the next page. Now, the next page is very important because that is where you put a description uh, for your clothing item or for your design. So this is like a selling page because when people click onto your design, they're going to read, uh, you know, what you're trying to, to, to say about your design. So this page is a page for you to sell your design. So make sure that you don't skip this page without adding a proper title as well as a proper description publish your your design so you will land on this page and on this page there are different tabs at the top so we're going to focus on one tab which is promoting your merchandise or promoting your t-shirt business so you go and click on promote your listing and it's going to land you on this page and we're going to scroll right to the bottom of the page because i'm going to show you guys that there are different guides to to promoting your listing so uh, for Facebook there's a separate promoting guide for Instagram so I suggest that you take your time and you read through this different promoting guide so that you don't make mistakes and have your shop uh, closed or maybe get some penalties or maybe I don't know what the the repercussions are but just make sure that you understand all the promoting guides before you go ahead and promote your store thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was informative enough and i hope you learned something out of it do let me know in the comment section down below until next time you have a great time